Hi, this is Lisa Crosby, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Assistant Studio in Dynamics 365 Sales Insights to create a custom insight card that will trigger a custom action or a CRM process, as it's also known. So here we are in Dynamics 365 on my dashboard, and you'll see here that we have got a card showing up in the, in the assistant, which is telling me that I've got a contact who is a promoter from a recent event that we may wish to invite that person to uh, meet up. So this is an example of using a card to suggest a next best action to the seller. And what I'm gonna show you in this video is how we can have a custom action on the card. So what will happen is when I click that button, it's actually going to trigger a custom action from Dynamics 365 to send an email out to that person to invite them to the event. So, you know, we can trigger emails automatically, but again, this is giving the salesperson some control here over saying, yes, I want to take that next suggested action. So we'll click on that there. That will actually send an email out to that person. Um, my contact here who I'm working with is this one here, Sandra Kellett. So we'll see what's happened in the timeline there just to show you that that email has gone out and we can uh, open that email record and have a look at it. When I click that button, it has sent it out to Sandra. There's our subject and there's the email that's gone out saying thank you for your feedback. So let me just step you back through the process of what's going on there and how we did that with the Sales Insight card. So let's just take a moment and talk about the concept here of what a custom action is and what it's doing. An action is something that's living inside Dynamics 365 and it's built as a type of process. So you've been able to, this is something that's been in the system for a while, you can invoke these actions directly from a workflow or a dialogue. It's a way of building out business logic without having to use any code. And what we can do now with the insight card is, is have the card as another way of triggering that custom action that's been built in a system. So what I'm using it for here is the idea of being able to, you know, make an offer to a customer, make this offer of saying, hey, you know, you were positive in, in some feedback. So I'm bringing in another part of the platform here, which is a survey that I've built through Forms Pro. And when that comes back with a positive promoter response, so, you know, the question of um, how did you rate our event if the person is coming back with a 9 or a 10 out of 10, then it's going to suggest that the seller takes that next action. So let's have a look behind the scenes at how we've triggered this card and how all of that's working. So we're going to go into our Sales Insight settings, which you'll find down the bottom here, and again into the Assistant Studio. From here, we're choosing Insight Cards, and I'm going to create a new card from blank. Now, in this case, I've actually got uh, the survey pre-built, the custom action pre-built. I'm going to focus this tutorial on how we leverage those things in the insight card rather than taking you through how to build those as well. So the fundamental principle with Forms Pro is that the responses that come back are actually sitting on the common data service. So we're in that lovely world already with Dynamics 365, it's the same back end. So what we're going to do is have the trigger is that when a survey comes back in and that survey response is actually gonna come back in as a record that has been created on the common data service. So as always, just choose my environment and the entity name for the um, the survey responses that comes that uh, that come back in from that system uh, is actually called a customer voice survey response so that's what we're looking for and we're looking for the scope of the organization now I could get more sophisticated here and you know pick out the specific survey all of those kinds of things uh, keeping it nice and simple on the assumption that perhaps we've only got this one survey going out uh, again because I really want to focus on the part of the tutorial that shows you how to use the insight card rather than getting into a deep a deep tutorial about those surveys so first thing we're going to do here is uh, add a condition to make sure that the person is in fact a promoter. So we can find on the 
uh, record, the survey response that's just come in, there is a field in there which is called the NPS score, which is the Net Promoter Score. So when we send out a survey, it's giving you that question that says, for instance, how do you, would you, how likely would you be to rate us, to recommend us to your friends or family? Score from I think it goes zero to ten. So we are uh, def picking up the standard definition from a Net Promoter Score there of a promoter. So a promoter is someone who responds with a score that is greater than or equal to, in fact, greater than or equal to nine. So they're responding with a nine or a 10. And what we're interested in here is the yes path there. So the first thing we're going to do there is say, okay, let's get the record of the person who responded to that survey. So in that survey, it comes with a regarding field, which is used a lot in Dynamics 365 to record activities and things against contacts and um, accounts and other records in the system. So first thing we're going to do then is get the record from the common data service that's related to that with this action here. Again, we're going to choose our environment. And this time we're looking for a contact because we're looking for the person who filled in that survey. And we are looking for the regarding. So the one that was the person who filled out that survey. All right, so that's just some basic building blocks so that you can see how there's a trigger there. As I said, you can get far more sophisticated with that depending on the requirements. But here's the part that I really wanna focus on here, which is using the um, custom card to bring in that uh, custom action from Dynamics 365. Now with this one, there's actually two steps. The first thing we need to do when we add the action here, and if we search for sales insights, you'll see that we get choose a custom action for the insight card. So the first thing we're going to do before the next step we do, which will be um, create a card for the assistant, is, is determine another step beforehand that's going to pick out that CRM process that we've built and then we're going to feed it into the card in the next step. So there's two sales insights actions that we're going to take here. So again, as always, let's um, choose the environment. Now, in this case, we're choosing the environment where the custom action is. Um, we are going to filter that by entity. Now, you can have things on, you know, on global, global actions. I've actually created this as an action that works on contacts. So I'm going to go and filter just to search the um, search the, the actions that are sitting on contacts. And now I will get a drop down list of all of the ones that are there. And the one that I'm working with is about sending an email about Tuesday Melbourne Meetup. So that's the name that I've given it. That's my particular one. So I'm choosing it there. From there, it pops up with some values because in the definition of the um, in the definition of the custom action, I've put in some um, parameters there that are the to email and the from email. So this now in the flow is going to pick up those dynamic values, and when we trigger that custom action, it's going to push those through in, as part of that triggering. So first thing is to choose the record ID that we are targeting here, and it's the contact from that previous step, and then the to email is going to be the email address of that contact. So just scroll down a bit here and make it a bit easier to see. Uh, so it is the primary email address for the contact. And then the from email is actually going to be the email address of um, the owner, the person that is um, that is is part of that. So what we're doing is looking for the owner of the get record step, that contact there. So if we just search for owner, that's the one there. We want the owner of that and that's who it's going to come from. So again, depending on what you'd set up with your CRM process there, you might have more inputs, outputs, parameters or whatever. Once you've chosen it, it's going to prompt you to dynamically fill in whatever else is coming from there that will then go back into that CRM action once you trigger it from the card. Right, now we get to the fun pit. Now we get to actually trigger our sales insights card. There we go, create card for assistance. Uh, assistant, once again, always choose our environment. Now this time, what I'm going to do is, you know, pick our heading here. We're gonna say, this is um, alerting the salesperson to the fact that they've got a promoter in Melbourne. And then the heading of the card, I'm just going to put in, we're gonna invite them to the Tuesday meetups. 
section in the middle here with the card text. This time I'm going to bring in a, um, a dynamic value here. So we're going to pop into the card text here. We're going to pull the full name. So this is the full name of that contact so that that person's name will show up on the card. And we're giving the salesperson here again some information about why the card is being triggered and what we want them to do. Now the button text can be whatever we like it to be. First of all, I'm going to choose a button type here and just show you this. So in this case, I'm going to use the button to trigger that custom action. And, you know, putting custom action as the button text is not terribly friendly for the seller because frankly, they probably don't know what a custom action is. They don't need to know what a custom action is, but we are going to put the button text as, as what the action will actually do, which in this case is to send that invitation. All right, then we're going to go back and define here the primary action for the card. So this is actually coming from this previous step here, which is this one here. So we've defined in the previous step what's going on with that. And now we're going to go through and fill out any of the other advanced options that we want to have there. So again, perhaps, you know, the card behavior after the click, let's have the card dismissed. We want to display this on the contact entity. So we'll just choose, actually, it's easier if we type in choose contact um, and the particular record that we want it to display on is the one that we've been working with throughout. So again, we're just going to find contact here and choose the contact unique identifier that is part of the rest of the process. I'm not going to worry here about the show from until those are optional things to have the card persist for as long as you want it to be. That's it. That's all we need to do there. So just to recap there, if you want to be using the custom action inside the assistant card, firstly, you add this action here, which is to choose the process, set it all up and put in the inputs and outputs with those dynamic values. Then when you go in here to create the card, you're going to get the option to choose custom action here, call it whatever you want, um, and then pick up that previous step in there so that you're linking back in which action is being triggered. So let's pick this up from the customer point of view this time. Here I am as my uh, customer persona, Sandra Kellett. I am inside my uh, email and I have got an email here that's come through that's asking me for my feedback on an event and I click through to start the survey. So this is the um, customer facing version of the Forms Pro survey that I've sent out. Nice, simple survey here. Uh, and we remember that this is going to be triggered when the customer is a promoter. So I'm going to be a happy customer persona here. I'm going to give it a four star rating and I'm going to respond to that net promoter score question. How likely are you to recommend this event to a friend or colleague? Extremely likely. Thank you and submit. So that is now going to be the trigger for that process that I just built. You remember a, a survey comes, a survey response comes in and that net promoter score question is rated at nine or above, then that's going to take us down that path to trigger the custom action card. All right, so we go back into the Dynamics dashboard here and here we are again, similar to what I showed you at the start. We've got the ability to trigger that and send out the invitation email. And then we'll just go back into uh, Sandra as our contact here. And again, we can see on the timeline there that we've actually got both the uh, survey logged in the timeline and then the email that's just gone out again as a result of that. So there you go. That's how you can use the custom insight card to trigger a custom action that you've built inside Dynamics 365 uh, to do all sorts of things, all sorts of business logic and processes that you build in the back end there. You can have inputs and outputs on those uh, processes, feed those through into the custom action cards, and uh, it's all good. Hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. I've got a series of other videos on the channel here showing you other things that you can do with those insights cards and other kinds of of uh, actions that you can take.